Welcome, folks, to a new Let's Play series. This is Eternal Ring, produced by, well, produced and whatnot by From Software and HTech and Ubisoft if you are a European. Start a new game. That night, Kane Morgan was lost in the dreams of his childhood. He saw the charred remains of his home. He saw himself standing alone amid the wreckage. His mother and father were nowhere to be found. Kane was very young at the time, so young that he didn't really understand that he lived in a country known as Solskia and that the neighboring country, Aldine, had suddenly become a cruel, aggressive invader. There was one other thing. They had all left for the island. That was all he was able to remember. Hungaria was the largest country in the western continent. The elders, who at the time were the acting rulers, had abruptly dispatched a group of knights to a place known as the Island of No Return. The young king, a man called Ian, who was known for his fairness and moderate manner, inquired with the elders as to the meaning of such a dispatch, but the elders didn't bother to reply. Gillian Morgan, the loyal leader of the king's retinue, was concerned about Ian, so he decided he would learn for himself what the elders were up to. He had but one piece of evidence to guide him. It was a vague utterance made by one of the elders. Somewhere on the island of no return was a ring imbued with eternal power. It was not a time for indecision. Gillian proposed to the king that his own son, Cain, should journey to this island. A few days later, before daybreak, a small boat departed from the port of Hungaria. It was a boat secretly obtained by Gillian for one purpose only, to carry his son, Cain, holding in his hand a sealed scroll from King Ian to the island of no return. So I think that's actually the only dubbing that's un done in this game. Boat, rickety boat. Please don't sink so close to the shore. doing better dubbing than these guys. We fishermen usually steer clear of this island. Uh, gotta be hot working for the king, huh? Best of luck to you. Hey, be careful out there. Do-do-do. Just casually tying rope. Yep. Nothing like tying rope on the mast of my little boat. Nothing could possibly go wrong. Yep, totally not hearing the flapping of a dragon's wings. Totally not gonna get eaten. to one of my other first experiences of a From Software game, Ever besides Evergrace of course, is this one, Eternal Ring. 
it is a first person RPG, much in the same vein as the King's Quest, uh, King's Quest, Kingsfield series, which I've not played. In this game, pretty much since around magical beings, but I don't have any of those right now. You know what I do have? A sword. Let's see, what's this one? Ah, this is safe. Yes. Might as well save. It's really quick to save too, so I'm not sure if I'm gonna be editing out all of that whole oh, five seconds. Ooh. Oh man, I hope this looks good for you guys too. Oh no. Who are you? You are ugly. You're like a Sahagan. It's actually been a really ow. God hit in the face. It's actually been a really long time since I've played this game all the way through again. Like, I had played it so long ago before, but... Eh, oh well. But, unfortunately, I was one of the poor schmoos that... Well, not poor schmoo, but... Uh, I had not beaten the game because I had gotten stuck at a certain point, And I hadn't returned to it to like... Four years or so? Back. Ah. Time Of course, I had to test whether or not this game was going to work. And as you can see, it does. And all the memories came flooding back to me of the pain and the misery. It. Just because it works through the analog sticks. But you don't look up and down with the right analog stick like you do with most games. No, you look up and down with the uh, L2 and R2 buttons. Up, down. And then you can press them both to center your vision. I guess they just wanted to ensure that your targeting was going to be absolutely and completely dead on, you know? Now, I'm not exactly sure how useful leveling up really is in this game. Like, for the most part, you get better and better wings, or better wings, better wings, by using these gems. And depending on the power of the gemstone, is the power of the wings when you go to mix them together and all that fun noise. Ooh. This little stone, the magic stone, will in... Ah, forget them. Not increase. Restore. Covers our MP. We're not going to use that. Because we don't have anything that uses MP. Come here, buggy. Come here, buggy, buggy, buggy. Eh. I'll harm you. Ah, this sword. Always makes me laugh. Mostly because it quickly becomes obsolete when you get your first equipment. Which, again, is the entire premise of the damn game, so... Why wouldn't you use the rings? I do love, too, how From Software, even back in the day, would just toss you into a game and be like, Well, here you go. Have some fun. With little to no explanation, assuming that you have the manual, which I still do. Ah, uh, man. I think I remember the very, very first time I played this. I didn't save or anything because I didn't have a memory card at the time. So I just spent hours on end just running through these caves doing nothing but killing the Sahagin. Laughing maniacally when they go to leap at me and they go, Oh no, you've run me through with your sword. They probably don't actually sound like that. They probably sound more like. Anyways. Buggies. I don't remember what these bugs do. I think they just chill. Like giant dragonflies. But they're worth XP, so you must kill them. Eh. Eh. This must look really pathetic if you uh, had a third-person view. 
like trying to capture a butterfly in Skyrim. You just do nothing but run after the butterfly, spamming the A button, like, I'll get you eventually! I need you for my potions! Yeah, there we go. Need both the experience and your gemstones, you see. Oh, and R1 and L1 strafe. And log turns you around. It doesn't look up and down. Still don't quite understand why they didn't do that. Do we have a map? I don't have a map. Or do I have a map and I'm just derping? You'll get other weapons. Wait, did I unequip my sword? Did I just unequip my sword? No. I don't think you can un unequip your sword. How the hell am I already lost? This is not a game that is hard, that is easy to get lost in. Okay, no, no. I remember. I know where I am now. Perp of freaking dirt. I just need to look around a little bit because I'm an idiot. Golden grass, golden grass, which heals you. So you guys know. Which is essential for the whole living thing. Now, the reason I was stuck for so long is because this opening is actually the way you have to go. I didn't get that because I didn't know it was a way that you have to go because it didn't look anything like a door. <sighs> Time to enter tutorial land. What's up, dude? Did I talk to you? Can I do a command that is not stab? Can I even stab here? I can, so it's probably a good idea that I did not try to stab at him. You got a nice halberd. Can I have your halberd? Can I have your spear? No? Why won't anyone talk to me? Excuse me. No? No one's talking to me. Bastards like that. You go through doors. Ain't that lucky. Hey, you. Will you talk to me? So, you're the new guy from the mainland, right? Oh, you don't look skeevy at all. Welcome to this miserable island. <laughs> Well, it's good to know that some people are friendly. I suppose I should try to enter one of those houses up there, huh? Knock knock. Oh, hi! How you doing? You, can I talk to you? Oh, you're from the mainland. We've been expecting you. Really? I'm Evans. Let me take that letter from you. Uh. Totally missed a line there. Hmm. It says here to add you as a member of our team. Well, why else will I come to this quote unquote miserable island? Oh boy. This means we'll need the captain's approval. Why would you need the captain's approval? You'll have a But letter. he's always asleep. What can we do? Wake him up? I guess we just can't send you back. It's direct orders from the king. There's nothing we can do. Okay, let me take your sword. I'll put it in safekeeping as part of the team's inventory. No, I need that to stab people. I mean monsters. Please get a replacement from Wallace at the warehouse. He's in charge of supplies. Wait, is that the guy that I just spoke to? This is a weapon request for him. Please go to the warehouse and give it to Wallace. But, that's my sword. There are many like it, but that one was mine. You, you took away my sword just to give me another sword. Do I not have to tell you people how stupid this is? <laughs> you, Wallace, this looks like a warehouse. So, you're the new guy. Yeah, yeah. Yeah? The king wants you to retrieve the eternal power? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> hey, sorry. 
I'm a nosy person. I won't tell the captain. Why don't you visit the shrine? There might be something of interest there, but that's only if you can open the water gate. So you're not Wallace. Got it. That's kind of the important part I was trying to get to there. Now this game's actually actually a little bit cruel. Most any time that you step into the water or step o over a cliff, you die instantly. What is it? I'm sleeping. Talk to me later. Oh, you're the captain, aren't you? And you're a prick already. I don't like you. Okay, is that one the warehouse thing? Yeah, like, even the littlest of falls. Like, that fall there? If I fell off from there to the ground there, it will hurt me. I know. I kind of wish the turning speed was a little bit faster, but hey, what are you gonna do? Well, hello. Oh, you're the new member. You're hurt. Wait here just a second. I'm just gonna rub nothing on you. There you go. Okay, all done. I've heard about you from the assistant captain. You're from the mainland. I'm Marie Fowler. I'm the chief medic here. I'm pleased to meet you. Tell me right away if you get hurt. We have medicine available here. Well, I've also got golden glass, which is apparently really miracle cure, so... Might be not needed. Uh, okay, so where is this guy? Is this a... Oh, this is... Probably not the warehouse? Oh, unless I have to talk to that... Yeah, guy again. That is Wallace, and it's just him being all yeah. You know, like from software, I love to do. Let's talk to this guy first. Can I have your, have your halberd? That emblem. I heard there was someone coming from the mainland. So that was you, huh? You're like a blonde eight or nineteen? Nineteen. <laughs> I was expecting more than just a young boy for being the king's favorite. Oh, you cannot be much older than me, sir. Fucking prick. Gotta love the slow door animations to get the adventuring blood ro running. Hey, how are you doing? Pretty good. Give me a sword. No? Do I have to use it? How are you doing? Yeah, yeah, thank you. Thank you for that. That was useless. Come on. Use. There we go. Hmm? Give you a sword? If you're freaking better, I might like, stab you with my fist. Here, how about this? By the way, I know that some rare gems can be found on this island. They'd be worth a lot of money back on the mainland. Not many people live here anymore. Resources are excessively abundant. Hey, you, do you need anything? And then he becomes the shop. Which is kind of cool. Uh, you use the gems as currency. And when you go to... I would have to buy my own small sword I hate these people. Let's see, golden grass, small amount of HP, golden flower, large amount of HP. MP for magical stone, fair amount for uh, magic crystal, recover silence, recovers cursed, poisoned, paralysis, and a small defensive stored. Stored? So one second. Let me see if I get this straight. My sword was replaced with a knife. I mean, mind you, it looks a lot cleaner than my old sword, but... It's just... 
I want to stab you, sir. Wonder if I should just buy this sword. How'd it go? Did you find any gems? I haven't even been out of the goddamn place yet. All right, I have. Okay, and then it goes into this, and then you can be all uh, all of these gems and these gems, and he'll be all like yes, and you now got it. I wonder if I just wasted a bunch of gems. No, actually, kinda, yeah, sort of did. Bastard essentially sold me on my own sword back to me. That that kind of irks me. So yeah, um, I played this game a long while back, and only recently did I really go back and beat it, but I beat it from the place that I had stopped playing it. Which, you know, is alright. I'm glad I beat it. Just, you know, I don't have all knowledge of the first eight or so hours I had played it. Good sir, that is not a blue door, that is a stone door with blue on it. Side street, side street. Wonder what's in this building. Hello? Is there any loot in here first? bunch of barrels. Nothing of use, nothing of use, and nothing of use. Alright, fine, I'll talk to the guy. What's up? You look like you're all contemplative. You look like you're researching one of those gemstones. Well, fine then. Ah, but I have to return to the, uh, the assistant not sleeping captain. So it would make sense. I think it makes sense. I don't fully know if it makes sense. Either that or I just give the captain over there a poke with my sword. My sword that I had to essentially buy back from the goddamn company. Oh, that's right. This is another building. Hello? Hello? I can't talk to him. Rat bastard. The doors are probably going to get me killed as well. But with me slamming my face into the frame and just going a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a so we're not sure what's in the deeper areas. It would be great if we could move the water gate inside the shrine. There's a control panel of some sort, but it seems broken. It doesn't respond at all. Good for you. I get that they're gonna want me to go into said water gate. Can I go this way now? I got a sword. I can go this way. Maha! We have no idea what it's like inside. Wait. Is this the shrine that you guys were talking about? The shrine that the captain had literally just said? Whatever. Also, change in music. It's welcome. I like it. Hello. Ooh, save point. Boop. Yeah. Just haven't saved since the underwater or waterfall cave place thingy. All right. So let's see what we got in here that we're gonna face and stab multiple times. Uh, turtles. Sorry, crabs. Yep, that was a crab. I wonder if I do additional backstab damage. Oh, hey, how you doing? You're on top. Ha <laughs> uh, I can do the stabbing parts all day. Kind of hate that there's no side strafing. In fact, if you press 
the left analog stick and right analog stick. Or, uh, in the two different directions, they completely counter each other out. Don't get why. It just happens. Well, because they're both churning buttons, I guess. And, let me guess, that's a red door. Just gonna take a stab in the dark and say that that was a red door. And I need something to open said red door. Or the blue door. Bet you they want me to focus on the red door first. Stabby. Stabby! Ah. Uh, trust me, the monsters will be getting far better than just, you know, crabs that I get to stab on a minute basis. Really wish that the. One second, let me see if I can't change the controls. Up, down, move horizontal, rotate left and right. All of these are kind of ass. In fact, now that I. I think now that I remember it. I think now that I remember this. Holy shit, I think I remembered using a uh, controller without the analog sticks. So it was just, you know, oh, use the dot, use the not analog, oh, was it D-pad, that's it. Can't believe I almost derped on insane. Oh, hey, it's the D-pad. Whoa, hi, Mr. Sahagan. It's, uh, nice to meet you, again. Was that the guy that was pushing me? I thought there was something pushing me into this passageway, so... I don't know. Let's see what's behind this door. Hello? Oh, hey, more Sahagin. I love you, Sahagin. Just accept my love. Accept my love! Whoa. I don't want your love. Sahagin's Thorn, which, if you'll remember, removes poison. So I think Sahagin have a chance of poisoning you? I think. Don't quote me on that. Where the hell am I? Kinda hope that the, the doors remained open behind me, but nope, that's not the case. Now this is a big, big room. With nothing of significant value in it. Love it when there's no source. Oh! More Sahagin. Yeah, stop! Water gems. And I can't wait to actually start being able to. Stop trying to hurt me! I only get to hurt you! I can't wait till I actually start be able to make my rings, because the rings are actually pretty damn interesting. It's kind of like the custom magic system from Wild Arms, except you, the more powerful the gems that you have, the more powerful spells that you have, obviously. But you also need the rings in order to do so, you know, vacant, already non-magical ones, I don't know. Oh, that looks bad. That bad? I'm gonna take a stab. Is that bad? Hello? Oh. Um, hi, Mr. Flower. Oh, okay. Um, I don't want to get hurt by this thing, I think. Wow, it's taking three hits. Four hits. It takes four hits to kill that sucker. Provides a feather gym, which I'm pretty sure is something more akin to the wind element in this game. There's another red door. Can't go through. Alright. I believe I'm actually going to stop right here. For this episode, anyways. Uh, hopefully this is going to give you guys a good taste of what this game is going to be like. It's fun. It's just 
interesting and a little bit confusing at the same time. So, I will see you guys in the next episode. Take care. Cheers.